Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're talking about the new Chucky series, episode one, titled Death by Misadventure. Before we get into it, please make sure you like this video and please make sure to subscribe if you're new here. We keep up with a lot of new movies, TV shows, and all that great stuff. But let's get into episode one. This will be a quick recap. I'm not going to do a full-on recap like I do with some other shows. I'm kind of going to go through some of the big moments, give you guys my thoughts on it, and then I'll give you guys my rating at the end. So let's get into it. I should also let you guys know that I went into this show blind. I didn't watch any of the trailers, so I had no idea what I was getting myself into and uh, I should also let you know that I'm not a diehard Chucky fan, so I saw the first one a long time ago. I really loved it. I watched it again recently. Still really loved it. thought it was so much better, actually, than when I first saw it. Uh, the second one I thought was really solid. The third one I think dips a little bit. And then I just finished watching Bride of Chucky, but I haven't seen Curse, Cult, or Seed yet. Uh, because I didn't know that this was a sequel to Cult of Chucky or Curse of Chucky, one of those. Uh, so, I mean, I'm going to binge them all before the second episode. But just want to tell you guys that that I'm not all cut up on the Chucky's yet. But by next episode, I will. But that's just what kind of fan I am going into this. But so this Chucky series, it's created by Dan Mancini, who is the original creator of Chucky. He wrote the first four movies, and then he went on to write and direct uh, the next three or four. He did Curse, Cult, and Seed of Chucky, I believe, right? Uh, so now he's back to write and direct this. He directed the first episode as well. I'm guessing he directed the rest of this episode as well, but I'm not sure yet. Uh, but you can tell that he is trying to make this for mainstream audience right from the beginning of this with the music and just the way it feels. You can tell that we're trying to bring Chucky to a new generation and you guys can decide if that's a good thing or not uh, by the end of this episode. But a lot of the beginning is a uh, suspense build. We don't really see Chucky move around too much. It's about a lot of like eye movements. Uh, it's a lot of like subtleness of his hand gestures. Uh, most of it is just focused on introduce introducing us to these new characters and that's kind of what first episodes are mostly about, right? We don't really get into the story yet. We don't really unpack or unravel too much the plot. It's a lot of just showing us what kind of characters these are. And uh, we're showing our main character is a kid who's uh, who's gay and his father disapproves of that, as we see. His dad's a real asshole, uh, as we see throughout the episode. Kid's also obsessed with uh, dolls and making sculptures out of dolls. His dad disapproves of this as well. He just sees his son as a loser. So most of the beginning is focusing on that dynamic and showing us what kind of characters these are. There's also a dinner scene where we're introduced to the kid's uncle. They're like rich and his aunt, his aunt is rich as well. And so is the cousin, the whole family is. And the kids, the cousin sort of seems like this prodigy, like Harvard student, uh, and just sort of reiterates that uh, our main character, his father, just looks down upon him and he's got to live up to these high expectations that he's not meeting. And I thought that was a cool dynamic for the show. I think a lot of us can relate to that. But like I said, that's kind of like what that first half sort of felt like. Just introductions. Uh, the Cousins also dates like this popular girl introduced to her. And there's just not much of Chucky. So it wasn't really what I was expecting for the first half. We then have this talent show. This is where I started to realize, I was like, this show does feel very weird. Um, but also you have to recognize that I've only seen in full like the first three or four Chucky movies. You know, so my, my expectations may have been a little bit higher. Uh, because I haven't really seen where this franchise has gone to. So maybe this episode does seem better to diehard fans or fans that have seen the franchise, right? Uh, so at this talent show, like I said, I did feel a little weird here. But once we get to that ventriloquist bit, I thought that was really good. Uh, we see Chucky and he's doing, he's cracking all his jokes. He's cursing. Uh, he's moving around good. Like he looks good. And that bit was actually funny. And that's when I realized that this show could be really funny. And it could actually be a lot of fun when it showcases Chucky, which is what this show will mostly be about, right? Once we get rid of the introductions and we focus more on Chucky, uh, which is what kind of like what that scene did, uh, it proves to me that this show could be really good. We then get some more scenes about just reiterating to us that his dad is a dick. He's yelling at his son more about being a loser. Uh, he goes and he breaks the kid's sculpture, all this stuff. It's just sort of making the audience hate him, which will make his death so much more better. Obviously, this is spoilers for the episode I should have said at the beginning, but if you're watching this, you should probably know after, you know, hearing a recap and review, you know, you're going to hear spoilers. Uh, so then we meet his death, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, I was surprised to see that the first kill we get from the show from Chucky is Chucky just like projecting water and electrocuting the father. I thought it was going to be like him stabbing someone, you know, one of his classic things. But instead, it's him shooting out water, which I had never seen him do before. Maybe you guys won't. Maybe he's done that before. I just thought it was kind of strange. But it did look cool, I will say that. And then when he's sort of like creeping up on our main character through like the, the lights keep going on and off, he moves closer. I thought that was pretty cool. And then after the police arrive and do their whole thing, uh, we then see that our main character will now live with his aunt and uncle. Uh, Chucky reveals himself to our main character. He sort of starts moving around. I don't like, that's the thing. Like, I don't want to really comment on his movements yet. 
because uh, all I've seen is the original 80s, and I think that looks so good for its time. So seeing it now, all I could really compare it to was those first four movies. Uh, and I did think it looked a little bit weird, but I'm sure compared to the 2019 version or some of the others, it does look better. Like, I'm just let me, you know, I want fans to, you know, tell me if it looks good or not, because I just don't know yet. But after he reveals himself and he says some line to him at the end, something about let's go do something, right? Whatever. Uh, we then see a flashback towards the end that was hinted out throughout the episode it's like this definitely a callback to the original halloween night 78 in the beginning we have like this pov shot of a little kid who's watching his sister or his mom comb her hair uh and then she's like hey charles which is charles lee ray who's a serial killer trapped trapped in chucky's body and she picks him up and it says 1970 1965 that's how the episode ends um so i, I this is also something i don't really know if i want to comment on or not because I don't know if it relates to Cult or Curse or Seed because I haven't seen those yet. Uh, for ones who have seen that, please let me know if that ending does relate to those movies or not. Because um, I was just confused about that. I was like, oh, is that just a flashback for Charles? Like, I just was, I was just kind of, you know, I just didn't know what that was for. Or like, are we just going to be showing flashbacks to Charles now? But uh, now that I've realized that it's a sequel to those other movies, uh, maybe you guys can tell me, you know. Or maybe it's just what I think it is. Uh, but I'm going to give you guys my rating for the episode right now. I'm going to give it a 3.1 out of 5. Like I said, I think I was expecting a little bit more. I didn't expect it to look as mainstream uh, as it did, you know, just for like a new generation, new audience. That's what they're here for. Uh, but obviously there are shows like that, you know, like I'm a big fan of Cobra Kai. It sort of has like that same sort of like, uh, I don't know if mainstream is the right word, but like that modern feel to it. Uh, and it sort of feels like a sci-fi show, which isn't really technically a good thing, I don't think. Because I'm not really big into cable shows in general nowadays. Honestly, I can't even tell you a cable show I've been keeping up with uh, since The Walking Dead. Which is really bad. Everything is just on streaming nowadays. But I don't want to go off on a tangent about cable versus streaming. Uh, so I think diehard Chucky fans will enjoy this. Like I said, I haven't seen the other the other ones in the franchise. So this one may seem a lot better than those. It could be like a really, you know, a good step forward. So uh, yeah, if you're a diehard fan of Chucky, please let me know what you think of it. Uh, but I think as long as this show focuses on Chucky, we get all the introductions out of the way. You know, the side characters seem okay. You know, I don't want the focus really to be on them. Uh, just make it more about Chucky, you know, all the jokes in there. Like that Ventroka scene was the best part of the show for me, I think. I just thought it was funny. And, uh, you know, we got to see some cooler kills, you know. And the preview that they show us, like I said, I didn't watch the trailer before. But I did see the preview for the rest of the season once the show ended. It gave us that. Uh, and it looks like a lot of fun. Like I said, we haven't even seen any of the returning characters yet. Uh, and they look like there are some really good Chucky scenes. So I think it's going to end up being a good time. You know, the first episodes are usually sometimes mostly the weakest ones in a series. Uh, so if this is a 3.1, maybe the show could end up being, you know, actually really good. We'll see where it goes. But please let me know what you guys thought of this episode, if you enjoyed it or not. If you liked it, please make sure to like this if you enjoyed this video. And please make sure to subscribe if you're new here as we keep up with all the new movies and TV shows. And uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.